Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to solve economic load dispatch using Power War Simulator. So let's close this one, let's come to edit mode, let's make it more complicated this network, let's assume we have another buses for example, let's come here to draw, let's say we have this bus, okay and let's say it is all right and it is 66 kV let's say it is where is the orientation it is all right this one okay let's say we have this network this one and let's say we have also a line connected here this is transmission line from here to here and let's say the transmission line has the following losses this is 2.002 per unit and here 0.089 and press OK. Let's also increase the thickness, display this one, and let's also assume we have here a load connected here. The load is, for example, 300 megawatts and uh, 195 megawatt. It is down press ok also let's assume we have another bus this bus here it is all right and it is also 66 kV let's say it is here and let's say we have another line this one uh, but before let's increase the length of this bus bar like this one this one the angle put it here this angle put it here and let's select transmission line and press on this one and let's assume this transmission line is point zero zero nine and this one point zero two eight let's increase the thickness and let's say we have another bus this side and this bus is for example 10 and let's assume we have a generator connected to bus 7 and this generator is for example with this value for example 150 and we can also select the display to down okay so we have this generator and we can also select transmission lines and connect this one with bus 7 and let's, sel let's say it is point zero zero three, and here point zero one okay and let's say also we have another transmission line between this one and this one and it is point zero zero three or three five and here point zero 
press OK. And we have another bus here. Uh, before doing that, I think we we did something. This is 66, yeah? So we have to add also another bus here. This bus here. And let's say this 10. Okay. This one 10. Let's say it is here. This one. And let's connect this one on this bus. Move generator 1 from bus 7 to bus 8. Yeah. Correct. And to see the values, we can just zoom it in or out by using the uh, the wheels on the mouse so we can also move these things here okay and why I did that because this one is connected on 66 kV this is 66 kV yeah we can't say this one is 10 kV it has to be 66 kV okay here we have to put transformer so we have to come here where is transformers we can connect it through transformer. Let's say the transformer has the following point zero one and here point zero zero four. That one. Let's increase the thickness. The thickness of that and also this thickness okay so we have two generators let's also say we have another generator is connected on another bus let's say we have another bus this bus and we have here is 10 okay we have to move this bus bar to this location then we can select transformer and select bus 6 and bus 9 and let's say it is 0 0.001 and this one point zero zero seven. again let's increase the display to this value and this one the display thickness to 2 this one thickness to two. this is also thickness to two and then we can put also generator here and we can select for example 200 and let's say it is down with thickness two. okay and these our values okay so we have three generators we have let's say also we have another load is connected on which bus bar let's say we have another load connected here here to right side and it is 200 megawatt and 130 Megavar. So this is what we have. Here we can put it. Again, I forget to increase the thickness. Okay. Now let's uh, try to run the network to see everything's are working let's come here and select run so okay we have everything's working okay here if we increase we can see the values suppose we want to make this one our slack or this one our slack bus what should we do we have to come here stop it press on this one 
select first we have to go to edit mode press on bus 9 select system slack bus and come here this one deselect system slack bus from bus 1 so this generator now it will act as a slack unit now if we press on run mode and press on start we will see that this generator now is the slack unit okay now let's stop the animations or simulations and let's assume we have this one the slack unit because in general we select unit one or the unit connected to bus one as the slack unit so this is the slack unit okay and this is just a bv bus okay 